Hi Sagittarius, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your new moon reading for June 13th, 2018. Um, thank you so much Sagittarius for being here. I really appreciate and I'm um, very grateful for all the love, the comments and the support that you have been giving me since the beginning. So I already pre-shuffled the cards and this is for the new moon okay, that we're going to be having on June 13th, 2018. And the new moon signifies of releasing anything that does not, um, releasing any um, energies, people, situations, or for that, it's not for your highest good. And uh, the, the energies of this reading will take, will be, um, it, it will be in taking place for another two or three weeks, depending where you are on your soul path and what's in your chart, okay? So what are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For June 13th, okay, the new moon will be in Gemini. What are the messages? Okay, let's get into your reading right away. Okay, move these cards here. So, here we go. Sagittarius, what's going on with you? Okay. Right now, you have the Three of Cups here, so um, there's, gonna be, there's a lot of celebration around you. Maybe you're celebrating that it's summertime. For others of you, you're celebrating because there's a wedding announcement, or some of you are getting married, probably. Others of you, there's a graduation. Maybe your kids graduated. Um, I see you going to a, a social event, or there's also a no, um, birth and a birth announcement. Maybe someone is getting uh, around you, that around your family and friends that are, is having a baby. And uh, they're asking you, to, there's a need to have more fun. The challenge here is for you to rest, Sagittarius, okay? Uh, they're asking you to, for you to take time out, okay? To take time to rest, to take a vacation. And also at the same time, they're, uh, they're asking you to, uh, any kind of decision that you have to make right now, is to allow the time before you're making a decision. And they're asking you to meditate, okay? More, to, because when you meditate, you're going to be getting more answers. In the... Um, in the recent past, you did get uh, the Ace of Swords. So I feel here you cut through uh, a lot of situations, people maybe. You cut out people. I feel you uh, also uh, cleared your mind. Um, I feel that also here you saw that you're starting to see the truth of a neck of a situation in front of you. Uh, you're getting a lot of brilliant new, uh, brilliant, brilliant new ideas and inspiration. And some of you also, I feel here. Okay, this is a challenging beginning for you, okay? Very challenging. So we're going to see what else there is for you here, okay? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, what's going on for you? For this new moon. Please check your, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, check your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus, and your Mercury. Okay, maybe you'll get uh, more answers if this uh, reading does not resonate with you. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Well. You got the hangman. But uh, upright. That means that you had this idea. You had a brilliant... Something that came to you maybe new ideas and our inspirations and you decided to move forward okay which is a good sign right now what's crowning you is that you got the eight of pentacles reverse maybe of you some of you are not working right now you don't have many hours and there's something that you are off balance meaning that when it's like this it shows me that uh you know you're working very diligently like you're working in detail and uh really putting a lot of hard work I feel here that right now there's something that's off balance at work. Okay, it could be with people that you're dealing with. Maybe you're dealing with people at work that you're having a hard time with. Maybe you got challenging information at work. Okay, and they're asking you in the near future to celebrate. So you are going to be celebrating in the near future with your family and friends. I see here celebration and that you're going to be having more fun. We're going to go deeper into the reading to see what else is going on with you, Sagittarius, for this new moon uh, in Gemini. Okay, it's the new moon is in Gemini. Okay, for you. So for everybody, actually. So why is it that the Three of Cups is here? Show me why the Three of Cups is here for you. 
I feel more here that they're asking you to have more fun. I feel that you are very tired, Sagittarius. You've been working a lot, I feel. But there's something that's, uh, let's see. Okay, there's an energy here, okay? It could be of a uh, fire sign, which could be such, could be you, Sagittarius, um, like you, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, okay, uh, that's coming in for you. So, uh, or you can have a sudden um, event that's going to need immediate attention, okay? Uh, and time is of the essence here, and they're asking you to really carefully think about what you're going to do, okay? So you did get the Knight of uh, Wands here. Uh, this could be a person that's very passionate, adventurous, self-assured, or restless, or this is you right now, okay? You're you're like uh, riding this horse, you see, and you're like very passionate, and you're moving forward like with the conviction, okay? So this is a very good thing here. So let's see what else is going on here for you. Why is the Three of Cups here with the Knight of Wands? Why? For June 13, 2018. Show me why. This is for Sagittarius. I feel there's a new person that's coming into your life. Maybe it's going to be a friend. Okay, uh, you did get the page of water. Someone that's, this is very a very good person, okay? They're very intuitive. Uh, could be a, of a water sign. They could be younger than you. Okay, um, this could be um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be because it's a general reading. Uh, but this, it's like, or it's a new person that enters your life. Or if you are, uh, or a relationship that begins a new phase in your life, okay? And uh, please pay attention to your um, intuition because, and your psychic abilities because I feel that, uh, uh, somehow you're going to be getting important uh, revelations through your dreams and visions. So please don't forget to write them down, okay? Um, Sagittarius. Again, here I'm getting uh, something that came in, okay, That's with the challenging information. Uh, but it's truthful, but it's challenging. And this is, right now, this is what's your challenge, okay? Your challenge is that you need to rest, okay? Because you, you're tired, Okay, you need to meditate to get your answers. But events that occur with great speed, okay, and they're really asking you again here to take the time to really carefully review your options. And you're going to have creative solutions to this uh, challenge that's coming in. You could also be dealing with a, um, you could also be dealing with a uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini as well. But it's a general reading, right? So it could be any sign. So we'll see what else is it shows me here. Oh. Oh, that, those cards won't fly out. Um, okay. They want me to show you this. Okay. So, a lot of you, I feel, maybe this has to do with finances, uh, Sagittarius, okay? If it has to do with finances, okay, they're asking you to open, uh, to release your fears around finances. You did get the Four of uh, Pentacles here. Um, maybe some of you are being too fear, you're spending too much money or you're being too cautious with money or maybe uh, but you are making good uh, business decisions okay and uh, they're asking you maybe to give uh, more to the less fortunate than you like if the things that you don't need you could get rid of them you know but I feel here that this is a challenge this is some uh, this has to do with your work something that came in that really um, you know uh, got you off guard and um, I feel here that um, you're going to have to make a decision. This is what I'm getting for some of you. Okay? And you're going to... I feel that there's going to be a lot of competing goals and bothersome details. You did get the five of uh, wands and conflict with other people. And I feel that this has this could be also with, um, you know, a work situation. Maybe you're a boss and you work and you have employees and your employees are giving you a hard time. Or uh, you're all like, uh, you know, or you're not a boss, but you're working in a place where you're going to have a lot of conflict. Like, I feel people want to, like, get in your way and start arguing with you, okay? But this is a challenge for you, and the challenge is for you to overcome this, okay? Because you are the magician. You're like a magician right now, okay? Uh, you're manifesting very quickly, so whatever your thoughts are, try to, try to keep them very positive, okay? Uh, Sagittarius. Because uh, you are ready, okay? And you have the resources and the ability to manifest them. And life could be very magical here, okay? I feel here um, with the magician that um, I feel like you, there's fears holding you back. And as soon as you, you know, whatever challenge it is that 
like you know because it's a truthful something truthful is coming in but it is challenging you okay and you and just to let you know that you are the magician so whatever you put it Think about all the things you want. Don't think about the things that you don't want. Think about what you want. Because by what you want, you're going to bring in these things. And I also have the Ace of Cups that came in. Uh, I guess this is important. This has to do with love. Okay. Um, again, it could be following. You can, you might be following in love. Or there's a resurgence re re of a relationship already that's that's here for you. That's challenging. And they're, they're saying that you're going to be going through a spiritual growth. Okay. And uh, your intuition is really going to get really high, okay, enhanced, okay, that's what I meant. And some of you might be moving into a new home as well, okay. So that's very good news. And anybody can overcome their challenges, right? Okay, they show me these two cards here. Um, so with, you got the Ace of Water, the Ace of Swords, seeing truth, being clear, okay. You also got the Nine of Cups, of which, which is coming true in the recent past, uh, your wishes are coming true, concerns are going to start fading away, and uh, you're going to start having a love for life again, okay? I also got the Two of Cups, your two people coming together, uh, sharing the same vision, the same goal. Um, it's a relationship that continues to grow deeper. Uh, there's going to be a lot of forgiveness here between both of you, and a positive resol uh, resolution of a conflict is going to be taking place. So this is a very good thing right now for you. Now we're going to see about this hangman here. Why is the hangman reversed for Sagittarius? Oops. Why is the hangman reversed for Sagittarius? Show me why the hangman is reversed. Okay. Well, oh, there's a lot of cards here. Okay, so we're going to go with, um, we're going to start with this, okay? So I do see a, uh, a Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or Taurus here for you, but it's reversed right now. This could mean some of you are not working at this moment, um, or there's some kind of unbalance with money. Money is not coming in in the way that you wish that you would have, have it come in. And for others of you, um, this person is very slow coming towards you, if it's a person, or, 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 um, uh, it could mean like the loss of a job or you're not making as the money that you want to be making, okay? But you're still moving forward. I feel here you got also the Six of uh, Swords. Six of Swords talks about, if you see all these swords at the ground here, talks about like the um, all the, um, the battles that you won. And you're moving forward, you're letting go of those uh, swords and you're moving forward towards the light over there. So um, I feel here that you have victory, okay? Um... And maybe in the recent past you weren't sleeping, you had a lot of thoughts on your mind, okay? Um, there's a lot of things happening here, because you got the Nine of Swords, I feel there's a completion here for you in this part. And you got the Two of Pentacles, okay? Again, two. I got Two of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, Twos talk about positivity, talk about uh, du duality. This is like too much going on at the, at the, at the um, too much going on in the recent past, too many things going on at the same time, some kind of unbalance, or you're being pulled in so many different directions as well, okay? But I do see a new beginning again here with love. There's a new beginning in love here, okay? You are, when you get a 10, when you get a 10, it's like you're on the right path here, okay? You're on the right path, and there's a new beginning in, maybe in this recent past with someone, Okay? You got two fours on the ground, so the angels are around you, okay? You got one, two, three ones on the ground, two nines on the ground, which is very good. Two nine, nines and threes, Ascendant Masters are here. There's a lot of th good, positive things happening for you, okay? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed? You Okay. Again, okay, this is reversed. It doesn't mean it's not going to go upright, okay? But right now it's it's reversed because divine timing is here for you. I feel that you're going to start seeing the Wheel of Fortune coming towards you very soon, okay? Uh, you did get the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles talks about uh, money coming towards you, 
or anything that you're, uh, could be money, could be a relationship, but some kind of uh, gift is coming towards you from the, the divine, okay? And right now it's not here at this moment, but divine timing is here for you. I think it's mostly that you have to change the way you see things, probably a, a different perspective, because divine timing is here. So I'm wondering why, if divine timing is here, why, I think it's the, this is the major challenge here, okay, that you're tired, that um, you have a lot of fears around money, probably. Uh, a lot of people are fighting with you. Uh, but you are, you're you're the magician. Anything you want, you can get, because it's all here. It's beautiful. Divine timing is here for you, okay? Uh, this could be a, a guardian angel that's coming towards you. It could be a Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo. They're very loyal people. If it's a person that's coming towards you, they're very loyal people. If this has to do with a new opportunity, a new job, or new endeavor, it's coming for you, but it's coming in very slowly, but it's coming in, okay? And uh, this is um, it's a very good sign, this, okay? I believe that when this comes in, everything is going to, uh, the cards that are reversed are going to be upright, okay, for you. They're very stable. This is very stable, but they take their time. If this has to do with a person, they're taking their time coming in. They, they, they don't rush. It's not like the night of fire that they just rush in or like the the uh, the night of, uh, of uh, air that they just rush in. They just take their time, their sweet time. Okay, they don't rush. But I do see celebration in the near future for you. Maybe there's a new opportunity that's coming for you also in finances. This is really great for you, uh, Sag. Why is it Three of Cups here for Sagittarius? Yeah, there's some kind of completion. I'm so happy to see this card, actually. I'm so happy to see this card here for you. Completion means that um, that you completed some, you completed all your past lessons that you had to uh, endure. And um, there's a completion that's being done. And there's a new phase, a new beginning that's starting for you, okay? And some of you will be traveling as well. You also got the Ace of Wands, okay? Uh, something creative, something passionate will be coming towards you. And... Uh, you did get also the Seven of Pentacles where you're going to be reviewing your life here. You're reviewing maybe your money, your budget, but there's something that you're going to be reviewing, okay? So now we're going to see what the Romance Angels have to say to you. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For this June 13th, 2018, New Moon. They're asking you to love yourself more, Sagittarius. Pour more love into yourself. Take care of you. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So just keep working on yourself, okay? And they're also saying here that uh, there's chemistry here for both of you. Uh, there's a strong magne magnetic attraction here. If this has to do with a person, okay? What else is it? Let's go. What other? Oh, wait. <laughs> Not too many cards. Hold on. Give me one more card from the Romance Angels. Okay. This is the card. This is a soulmate that's coming in for you. Yes, this is your soulmate. If you are being calling your soulmate, and this is, is this has to do with a relationship, this is your soulmate, and there's chemistry. But they're asking you to love yourself first, okay? You come first, okay, Sagittarius? I'll always know that. And express your love, okay? Express your love. We'll see what the angels have to say here. For you. This is for Sagittarius. Where are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus for June 13th, 2018 for this new moon in Gemini? It's a very magical time right now. Oops, too many cards. <laughs> okay. They're asking you to ask your angels. So for those of you that need to have meditation, uh, you are close to your angels because we do all have angels. Ask your angels for whatever it is, the question that you're asking for. They're asking you to ask them. Okay, uh, they're saying here, no need to worry. Okay, no need to worry. So you have to let go of worry, your fears, let go uh, of all that. Because whatever you worry about is what you're attracting in your life, Sagittarius. It's a very positive reading. Everybody has challenges on an everyday basis. Um, and I, I believe that you could overcome them. You just need to release the fears. 
Is there anything else that they need to know? My beautiful sages. Is there anything else? Is there anything else that Sagittarius needs to know? They say within the next couple of weeks, the next within the next few weeks, you will get your answer. Awesome. Okay, so Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you in the full moon in June. Take care of yourself and know that I love you. Bye.